like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Guess what? We've found more SpongeBob errors, specifically in season 6, 7, and 8. So yeah, let's talk about them. Wait, before we get started though, leave a comment down below, letting us know other cartoon mistakes you'd like us to cover on the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, that way you enter into our monthly shoutout giveaway. Our first mistake can be found in the Season 7 episode, Spongebob's Last Stand. This two-part episode is all about Spongebob's fight to prevent jellyfish fields from being destroyed and replaced by a highway. It's a really deep episode, a lot deeper than most Season 7 episodes, but of course, it isn't perfect. I was able to find two errors, with the first one taking place during this scene. As you can see, Karen is running, however, this would be impossible since she isn't plugged in. that be during my hour of triumph? How appropriate. <laughs> Plankton, I'm ready to negotiate a price for me secret formula. See you later, long hair. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's a wig. Thanks for the lift. They left us in the middle of nowhere. Oh, this isn't in the middle of nowhere. We're actually right on the edge of nowhere. Well, at least it isn't raining. In the episode Bubble Buddy Returns, SpongeBob's longtime friend Bubble Buddy returns to Bikini Bottom for the first time since season two. Well, actually, despite being titled Bubble Buddy Returns, the episode is largely centered around Bubble Buddy's son, Shiny. Bubble Buddy does show up, but it's only at the end of the episode and is only for a couple of minutes. Anyways though, onto the mistake. It happens really fast, but if you look closely as the dinosaur bubble appears, one of SpongeBob's sleeves seems to be missing. Well, it isn't necessarily missing, as you can kind of see it, but SpongeBob's arm is still overlapping his body, so it's definitely a little air. Here's a clip. After Patrick learns that Larry the Lobster is a professional daredevil in the episode A Life in the Day, he also wants to live out his life to the fullest and begins to drag Spongebob into numerous stunts. Now the final stunt we see at the end of the episode is an extremely dangerous jump across Ripper's Reef, and the episode ends with Larry, Spongebob, and Patrick in the hospital. It's a decent episode, and the ending is pretty funny, however, it does have a few errors. For example, when Spongebob says, I wonder how Patrick's doing with his living like Larry thing, one of his teeth turns from white to yellow for a split second. It isn't necessarily a big deal, but damn does Spongebob look weird. I wonder how Patrick's doing with his living like Larry thing. SpongeBob! <laughs> In the episode The Way of the Sponge, Sandy and SpongeBob train with Fuzzy, a legendary karate master. However, when SpongeBob fails his tests, he gets sad. Now in the end, everything works out when both Sandy and SpongeBob receive their black belts. But if we rewind a little, we can spot a mistake. It's subtle, but when Spongebob goes to go fry the fries, we can see that the fryer is on the left. However, for some strange reason in the next scene, it's now magically been moved over to the right. It's weird. Oh, also, when we see Sandy reach over to grab Fuzzy an air helmet, 
her body duplicates and overlaps for a frame. It looks just really weird. Here's a clip. Which is exactly why I keep telling you, never try anything new, ever. Stick to what you're good at, and stick to it soon. Stick to what I'm good at. Hey, Squidward's right. <laughs> But the universe is cutting in. Huh? Okay, yeah. looking good. Sponge Man! Smell the vibrations! Make the fries! I almost forgot. Oh, get it out. Sandy, what's wrong with Fuzzy? Oh. I know what he needs. He just needs this. Oh, mama. No. More talk! Only do! Sandy, my dear, for holding your own against the sponge, you have truly proven yourself worthy of...